Hi, it's Jason from DrPreMed.com. I want to talk to you about the MCAT and how adcoms are reviewing the MCAT. I'm a part of a couple organizations as a medical student, and it was just a release that came out today, actually, with some data in regards to the MCAT. So we all know that recently in 2015, the MCAT changed where it went from being scored on a 45-point scale where it's now at percentiles up to 528 or so on the MCAT. So that's just basic information, basic knowledge that we all understand. But how are ADCOMs looking at this information? What we're finding out is ADCOMs are still being very, very serious about your MCAT score and what it means for your chances for admission. The Association of American Medical Colleges, they thought with the new MCAT and some of their critical analysis and reasoning ability that's on the test that that would force medical schools to take a more holistic approach to applicants, meaning that they're not going to just screen them based purely on their test scores, but there's going to be other intangibles that they're going to see when an applicant would make an admissions decision. Unfortunately, what we're finding out is that the medical schools are not doing this. They are sticking to the MCAT as a primary factor whether you get into medical school or not. And you even have the notion of where you have percentile scores, where it's not just your raw MCAT score, it's how you fare in comparison to other applicants, everybody else is taking the MCAT. And what the data is showing is that you have your mean average of everyone who takes the MCAT recently was a 500, but the people who got in, it was a 501, the five, excuse me, it was, so your, your average is a 500, 499 to 500 is the average of everybody who's taking it, but every year so far with the new MCAT, that average has gone up by two points. So what may be a decent competitive score in one year, the following year it's not going to be competitive if the ad comes are looking at the percentile rank because you maybe you're at the 70th percentile the first year, but then scores moved up and now you're in the 60th percentile that means you're not going to be competitive for medical school. And unfortunately, I see this all the time with students, what they're doing in regards to getting into medical school in relation to the MCAT. They are going ahead and applying when they do not have the numbers. This actually went up from 44% most recently from 33% in a previous year where people who were underperforming decided that they were going to go ahead and apply to medical school. This is not what you want to do. You don't want to take a chance and think that a medical school is going to take a chance on your application or send out more applications. That's not how it works. Adcoms take a very hard line stance of what they're looking for in applicants. In a lot of cases, computers screen applicants. So if you don't have the numbers, you're not going to be competitive and just applying to more schools isn't going to help your chance. So this is Jason from DrPremed.com. Make sure you visit the website where I have more information, stats, and other things you can do to improve your abilities and your chances for excelling on the MCAT. So look forward to seeing you there. Take care. Jason from DrPremed.com. Thank <laughs> you.